Wait, you guys got another video on Microsoft removes legacy drivers from Windows updates. So what does this mean for you? Well, when you do your Windows updates like so, normally what happens is you will get driver updates being installed on the system. Now, when you install a fresh version of Windows, you may notice that all the drivers are normally installed on the system. And that's because they're coming down uh, during the Windows update process. Now, if you disconnected the internet, during the installation process, you'll find that in Device Manager, all of your drivers would be missing on that system. And that's because it hasn't had the chance to download them during the Windows update process. Now, the reasoning for this is Microsoft wants to remove all of the old legacy drivers and offer you more modern, newer drivers. And that way, this is going to be more secure and more reliable for you and make the system more stable rather than offering old outdated drivers. Now, I can tell you this has been a problem in the past where an old driver has been installed on the system and it causes a problem like a blue screen or something like that during the Windows uh, update process. And this is why a lot of people disable the device updates for the drivers because they don't want these drivers being pushed down onto them through the Windows updates because it can cause problems if they are old drivers. So Microsoft are deliberately uh, removing these old legacy drivers now for modern drivers. So basically, Microsoft has said that this will be a routine cleanup practice in order to make sure that Windows security never gets compromised again. But for now, Microsoft are only focusing on removing legacy drivers that have newer replacements for Windows updates. Windows updates offer and ensure security and driver quality for Windows users. And Microsoft are trying to deliver the best latest updates for you during the Windows update process rather than offering you outdated uh, drivers. So these old legacy drivers will be removed from the system. Microsoft will provide a six month window before permanently deleting those drivers from Windows updates. This means that a six month period is for companies or partners to express whatever concerns they might have with uh, Microsoft removing these drivers. The company made it clear that it will remove more categories of drivers in the future. Microsoft have also said they will give uh, OEM companies the opportunity to republish drivers that have been expired, but you'll need to explain the justification for republishing these drivers. And you may see something like this without any sort of device drivers installed. So if they do get deleted and it's an old legacy hardware, you might start seeing stuff like this. If uh, companies don't republish drivers, you might see drivers missing. And especially on really old hardware, it might be missing from the actual installation. And this can be very problematic and time consuming for a lot of people. So we'll just have to wait and see how this pans out for really old hardware and whether a lot of these drivers are going to just disappear or whether companies are going to re-submit uh, these drivers if Microsoft delete them. Maybe they don't have any newer drivers available. I'm not sure what's going to happen there. Uh, are they just going to remove these old legacy drivers because of security risks? Because they're so old now, I really don't know. Because some hardware has really old drivers and they haven't been updated for a very, very long time. So does that mean that they are going to be removing those drivers because they're old legacy drivers and they're not new uh, and updated. I really don't know. I'd have to look into that a little bit more. Now, NVIDIA, I've had those drivers installed on the system before and they've been old drivers. Uh, so these drivers will be replaced with the newer drivers. And again, this would be a communication between the company and also through Microsoft and make sure these drivers are kept updated so that you're getting the very latest drivers during the Windows update process or during the installation process, these drivers will be the latest drivers that they have. Now, Microsoft also encourages its partners to review their drivers in the hardware program. Identify current drivers and legacy uh, expired drivers need to be looked at. Uh, this is important because once a legacy driver reaches expiry, Microsoft will permanently delete it from the Windows update after six months if no action has been taken by these partners. Now, there's still a lot of old hardware out there floating around, and some people are still using really old legacy hardware. Uh, I'm just concerned that some of these old drivers might suddenly disappear from the Microsoft uh, catalog. They just might suddenly remove it. I really don't know. We'll have to wait and see. 
But again, they are looking to weed out all of these old, old, old legacy drivers that are really outdated. It's just what they're going to replace them with. If there's nothing to replace them with, does that mean they're going to remove old, hard, old hardware drivers? I really don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. It's just a quick video for today. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. The link is in the video description. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.